Hi there, if you saw the title, today I'm going to be playing some spooky Greedy Blaster games. Oh, and fuck off, I know I should have made this on Halloween, but guess what, I don't care. So, we've got six games here. Two of these are some shitty fucking EXE games, two are real games, and two are wrong hacks. These aren't the generic ass games like Sonic EXE or some shit. No, I just picked random games and none of these scared me. Seriously, this game just aren't that scary, and the prime example of that is our first game. This is a pigeon. I feel like so this game appears to open with some amazing introduction made with Windows Movie Maker. Apparently, while Andy was playing with his toys, the dumb fuck pricks Woody's head off, and now Woody wants revenge and shit. So this is off to a really good start, and the game immediately disappoints me because I have to start with Rex. <laughs> You walk to the right until you reach three of the dumbass alien guys hanging themselves and then Woody kills you. Next you play as Mr. Potato Head. I would say I'm glad this motherfucker dies if it wasn't for his amazing walk cycle like dude is grooving. You come across Buzz who just came back from Arizona and then Woody kills you again. Woody talks some shit about you and then you start playing as Rocky. This gameplay section is shocking because you actually go in a direction that isn't right for some of it. You climb to the top of the level and then you find Woody who just appears. You go back down into this hole and the game just says your real name and then you begin playing Caesar Simulator. You go right again and Woody kills you one more time and the game ends with the Guinness World Record for lowest effort jump scare. This game was great. I mean it fucking sucked but it was great. I give it a 10 out of 10. So this game was made by the same guys, the last one. The game starts with yet another Windows Movie Maker intro. And Sonic failed to get all the Chaos Emeralds to save Tails and Eggman makes a deal with Sonic. Sonic would get all the Chaos Emeralds for Eggman so the Doctor could open a portal to a lost paradise so Sonic could save Tails. But if Sonic doesn't then Tails gets killed. Sonic decides to be a fucking pussy and runs away so Eggman kills Tails. So cool, good job Sonic. So welcome to Sonic2.exe where everyone's depressed. So this game's pretty unique as it actually tries to be a platformer, for 30 seconds at least. When you reach the end of the level, you get dropped into a pit where Tails fucking dies, and the game unironically pops up with a text box from Majora's Mask. We then start playing as Sonic and we run through Green Hill Zone as we see corpses all over the place, including the body of Eggman, and as a certified Eggman enthusiast, whoever killed him could suck my balls. The person who killed everybody is revealed to be Tails and the screen cuts to static. Game restarts and now the game is Ooh, scared. We then play another level as Sonic where static comes to the screen. After running for a total of 46 years, the game cuts this beautiful image. We get spooked and the game ends. Overall that was a terrible game and I'll be grieving the loss of Eggman for years to come. Oh, so this is a ROM hack of Super Mario World and this is the first time in this video so far where I can say this can be considered a real game. It's a very short game but for the whole time you are actually engaging in well, gameplay. When you press start on the title screen it leads you to the opening cutscene where it simply tells you to get your eyes back. Afterwards you drop into a room where there's a pit in the middle. You can't go to the right so you need to go down where you go left and into a door. You get put in a dark room and there's some doors you can go through. I obviously go into the first one and I get put in a platforming challenge. Go through another door and you're in another platforming challenge. I don't give a fuck if you disagree, this is my opinion and I say the controls of this game suck ass. Got a game over here so I decide to go into the second door. I get dropped into this other platforming challenge and it's even harder. The slippery ass controls really shine here. I quit that part so I go to the final one door and what do you know it's impossible, at least for now. I go into this room and it's quite literally pointless, or at the very least I couldn't figure out the purpose. Like I found this room after going in one of the doors and that's needy I guess, but there's nothing here. I looked everywhere on the map and then I found this, you, you've got to be kidding me. So in here there's a mushroom so I grabbed it and used it to damage boost through the impossible room and what do you know, the game is over. That game was really annoying and hard, but I would say it's definitely a game. And I'll also say that I really like the art style. I suppose trying to convey how the world would look if you had no eyes like Mario without it just being a blank screen. But the creator can still go suck a fat one. But what the hell, but... <laughs> so this is easily the creepiest experience here. 
and I still wasn't scared. I start outside the castle in the courtyard where I find I can use a flashlight. I go inside the castle and enter Bob on Battlefield. I follow the dirt path as the sign says I should, and I pass by the chain shop, just don't let him find you. I say hi to King bob before I'm forced to dip him in lava. I didn't want to do that but I had to progress, so well done, sorry. I grab the Dark Star and I move on to Kukul Mountain. I see the purple coins but I didn't exactly trust them. I looked at the sign that said the red coins were just for decoration, but I didn't believe that in the slightest, so I went off to try and find them. I reached the bottom of the mountain and the sign said I had to chuck the baby penguin off the cliff to progress. I wanted to get a good start instead of a bad side so I kept searching for over half an hour. I eventually just called it quits, I had to stop searching and so I threw the baby penguin off the cliff. Mama penguin killed me and the game's over. Splendid. N no, it wasn't actually, it wasn't splendid, it was really annoying actually. <laughs> Whoa, animatronic like Freddy Fett! Oh yes actually, this is a Mario Five Nights at Freddy's game. I start on night one, outside of Freddy's, and, uh... I need to go inside, or else I will get sick if I stay in the rain too long. Yeah, there's voice acting in this game, and it's amazing. I go inside Freddy's and see the three animatronics on stage. Mario says they're terrifying, even though they aren't, and goes to find the office. He gets there and receives a phone call. The guy tells him about the place and says that the animatronics get a bit quirky at night or something. Then we cut to Freddy and Kurt talking about some guy, presumably Mario. I might have gotten that wrong, I don't know anything about FNAF lore other than the purple motherfucking kills some kids and shit. We check cameras and see Bonnie has gone so we for some goddamn reason leave and go to check the other rooms instead of, you know, using the cameras. I find a backroom key in Foxy's Cove and we get jump scared by Freddy even though he's not there, so he's probably hallucinating. I go into the back room and find a note. I try to leave but then we hit Bonnie. We have to choose to hide so I to choose a random option which was to hide under the table. That didn't work so I try again and I hide inside a Freddy suit, but we get trapped inside. So I gotta hide in the closet. I do that and we survive so I leave the room. I get a crowbar and open the crate with it and get the kitchen key. I find a family photo in the kitchen and I head back to the office and we see Foxy on the camera sprinting to the office. I shut the door so he leaves. We go and explore more and find an arcade cabinet that wasn't there before. It's an arcade game with a crying kid in his house just walking around. I go down and into a room and get jump scared from under the bed by what I presume is his brother named Kyle. The arcade game ends and I leave. And Kyle goes out when I get back to the office and uh... Welcome, one and all, it's time to have some fun, let's have a party. For Fortunately, we survive and we cut to day two. I go back down to the office and we get another call. He tells us that the cameras are dead so we need the batteries in the kitchen. We gotta book it to the kitchen before she gets us. I hide under the sink and she leaves for some reason. I get the batteries and go back and what do you know, it's not enough. So I go into the supply closet and get more batteries. We get caught by Bonnie and we have to make a choice between clocking him in the face with the broom or stunning him with the cleaner. Broom doesn't work so we gotta choose the cleaner and get out of there and back into the office. I go back to Foxy's Cove and find another arcade game. This one shows a teenager, presumably Kyle, crying over the kid from the last game having his fucking bud gone and dying. I go into a door and see a Foxy suit. Then we see his loser dad come into the room and talk down on him. And he fucking slits the kid's throat and stuffs him in the Foxy suit. The arcade game ends and Foxy is right behind us. I book it to the office and he walks off. Power goes out again and once again we survive before Freddy kills us. Day 3 begins and we gotta go fix Freddy cause there was an accident or something. I try removing the hand and I die. I try removing the head and I also die. But we go to the bathroom and vomit because of the disgusting sight and we leave the bathroom stall. Chica appears and we immediately go back. We have 4 options this time. Attempt to dodge her and run? Dead. Wait until she's gone? Dead. Punch her in the face? Dead. Yeah, so that's right, the correct option is to trip her up and run. There's an arcade game in the office and we play. We're playing as some yellow bonnie thing and we're getting kids to follow us. I get them all and then they cut to a scene of the kids stuffing in the suits of the animatronics. Some weirdo with a haircut that looks like a leather helmet comes in and sees the scene. Cops come in and arrest him and what do you know, the loser dad is there with the cops. Mario says, wait a minute, that kid in the pop rel... Purple shirt. 
I've been seeing him all over. This purple guy. Mario goes into the main room again and like clockwork, power goes out. He doesn't survive this time. Day 4, we're playing as Luigi this time. He goes inside and says, Holy shit, it's Chuck E. Cheese ripoffs! I go into the office and we find Purple Guy standing there in front of a crate, just staring into the abyss. I talk to him and he tells me to distract the animatronics and to not look into the crate. So of course we look anyway. I go into the back room again and then we see a Freddy plush on the table that wasn't there before. Power goes out once again. It tells us we need to get to the kitchen for some reason and uh... I'm pretty sure my game's bugged because it doesn't display anything here. So I quit. I'm not gonna lie to you when I say this is the most entertaining game so far. And it still sucks. This game is just so weird. Inconsistency lies around every corner. Mario's in a completely different style to the rest of the game. The graphics of the arcade game try to look pixelated, but they also have smooth lines in them. The arcade games themselves look different from each other. And most of Mario's character portraits in the text boxes are 3D renders, while one is pixelated. And the game usually looks like this. But then when you have to make a choice, the game looks like this. The game is so weird. But it's amazing. Coca-Cola! Coca-Cola! Don't forget to ice! So this game begins with a very ominous message. Again? The game goes to the world map and the only selectable level is simply called, well, nothing. I start the level and immediately notice most of my abilities and moves are gone. I can only move, jump, and pan to the left and right. I progress further into the level where it becomes dark and I begin to see things, like a silhouette of peach sticking out of a tree. Progressing further where it begins to rain, a text box appears. Ha, uh, I'll be fine. I casually pass by dead bodies and cross a bridge where another text box appears. They made it all from scratch. I pass by Rex, which is the only other living thing other than Mario and what I assume to be Peach. Which doesn't last long as Peach fucking kills her, Jesus. Another text box. He came here way before you. This is his home, the place they... The last bit of text is unreadable. I pass by more disturbing things and go into a black screen. I believe I'm the god of this forest. Are you looking for me? I am the one there. Once again, the last part is unreadable. The black screen fades away and now I'm in a completely fucking obliterated landscape where I have to dodge this strange peach thing. I died here. I'm at the beginning of the level again, where it appears with the same message. Again. I begin the level again and it's snowing this time, including complimentary ice physics. Oh boy. I see another Mario and it disappears. I see silhouette of another Mario with the word I'm written above it. I curiously align myself with the silhouette and the text box appears, which appears to be a continuation of the I'm that was above the Mario silhouette. It reads, the heart. I keep moving forward and I see three more Marios. The Marios disappear, so I head into the door. It leads to a cabin with the corpse of another Mario and one more door that leads to a void. More text boxes. Oh god, who is this guy? I tried yelling at him so he'd go away, but my voice was gone. Now he's just staring at me through the window above and... The sentence isn't finished. I play the level again and it seems to be the same as last time. This time I carefully maneuver my way through the peach section and I drop into a pit. Where I end up in a corrupted mess of a level. My lungs hurt, please take them out. That's not con concerning at all. I am the true king. The level starts again, but with Peach this time for some reason. I go through the level and I kill all the enemies along the way. Please help me, I can't stop cutting. Cram her. The game pops up with a text box that reads, Ooh, yes, now's the time. Go back and show them who you really are. I actually followed the game's advice and go back to the level. A bridge breaks underneath me. Level fucking starts again, but this time I'm dropping into a pit. I drop onto a wood platform and the game says I have to pull out weeds for some reason. I do that and I drop through the pit again. Now I have to gather wood for the walls. I do it again and I do it and I drop again and it tells me to get a little more for the roof. I do that and I drop it again. And I briefly see the house I was making. This is where it hits me that the Mario I'm playing is as the Mario I saw before that was dead on the ground. And, I kid you not, that's where the game ends. That was a surprisingly good experience. I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't scary and it was just confusing if anything, but it was very well done.
Well, that was a fun ride. Overall, all of those games sucked. Well, the was pretty alright. But barely any of these, no, scratch that, none of these experiences scared me. They had one job. Anyway, piss off now. Goodbye.